I'm a performance artist, mostly on cello, dedicated to connection, um, connecting ideas, connecting people, and most importantly, connecting individuals with their own incredible abilities of understanding. I perform exploratory, fearless concerts that pose questions, and I perform music that attempts to answer those questions. From asking, is live music important, or how can our bodies be musical, for me, the real satisfaction comes in creating something rich and complex, something that feels important and that listeners can really dig their ears into. My favorite part about concerts, and I would say the reason I decided to become a performing artist instead of someone who plays music privately for myself, is that I love the moment when people come together to try to understand something and the energy that goes through a room when a lot of people are focusing on one beautiful thing at once. And then beyond that, I love after concerts over when the discussion starts, when everyone starts sharing what they heard, their favorite piece, what they thought was awesome, what they thought stunk, their aha moments. Those are the exchanges that really fuel me as an artist. I think one of my favorite parts of my studio space is that I'm lucky enough to get to practice at home in a big room with lots of natural light. So much of our time as musicians is spent alone practicing, and it's nice to be able to do that in such a big, beautiful, inspiring space instead of a small, isolating one like so many practice rooms are. I would say that my process in learning a piece involves a lot of thinking and research before I necessarily put bow to strings. I like to have all of my page turns worked out first, and maybe I'll do an overview and make a practice plan. When I do finally start working on the notes themselves, I like to obsess over little details and work on little bits until I feel like I've internalized them and really made them my own and have a really compelling to me understanding of the music. I operate on the belief that art that you already understand makes you feel validated. Art that you can't hope to understand makes you feel otherness. But Art that presses you to understand and enables you, and as a result, empowers you. That's the art that helps you experience the extent of your potential. I think it's so important for all of us to experience our potential with understanding, to have those moments where we're like, oh my gosh, it all makes sense, and I get it, I'm able to get it. That's the kind of experience that leads us into taking bigger risks. Basically, it's, it's the place where we can usher into greater, deeper, more interesting understandings of the world around us.